Hello, Sherry's fans. Welcome to another edition of The Transfer Show, where we will be discussing our new signing fresh off the plane from Barcelona. Yes, you heard that right. Bournemouth have indeed signed a player from Barcelona. But before we get into that a bit further, I do want to remind you to please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Make sure you never miss a notification by hitting that bell icon. Before we go any further, I'm going to remind you once again that this show is sponsored by Aquashine Exteriors, professional exterior cleaning services across Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole. Please have a look in the description for details about their website, social media and their phone line for a free quotation. So Bournemouth have signed a new goalkeeper. You know we've been looking for one all summer. Whether it was going to be a backup to Travers or whether it was going to be genuine competition, we now know. This is a player that has some significant pedigree. We obviously were, we did have Losel in at one point, training with the team out in Portugal. Smithies came in for a brief period before it turns out an injury really sort of prevented us from bringing him in permanently. And although Neto won't have traded with us before, I think we can all agree that if someone was good enough for Barcelona, they're probably going to be good enough for Bournemouth. I think that's a pretty safe assumption to make. Now, as for his history, he is Brazilian and originally came over to Italy in about 2012-ish as a 22-year-old with Fiorentina. He has played for 11 seasons in total, only racking up about 162 appearances. That's mostly because he's been a backup for long periods of his career. He was backup at Juventus for two seasons, was backup at Barcelona for three seasons, and has only been spent four seasons really as a first-team keeper. Those two years at Fiorentina, he broke through originally in 13-14, and then the two years at Valencia, where he's racked up 67 appearances there over two seasons, and 72 in total at Fiorentina. So... He has a lot of experience, but maybe not as much as you'd expect for someone of his age. Now, he's six foot three, so he is quite tall. And being someone that's played for Barcelona, a very position based team with a particular style, he is going to, or at least we would expect him to be decent on his feet. Now, if you look up some sort of compilation for his saves, it's not, I don't think it's going to be a huge selection at this moment. Like I said, he didn't play all that much last few seasons. He only racked up 12 appearances in three years as Barcelona's backup. But there's no doubt that this is a very good signing. Travers has impressed significantly for us in the last season, but obviously didn't really have much of a challenge with you know two backup keepers that didn't really impress all that much um, in our championship winning season. So now we have someone that really is determined to get back in a first team spot and is achieving what he has described as an ambition to play in the Premier League. So there is some really genuine competition now for Travers. And if he makes a few mistakes, if he isn't quite performing, then I wouldn't be surprised to see Neto come in. And if he doesn't make a mistake, it could be him for the rest of the season. But what I would say is there's very little risk in this signing for Bournemouth. It's only for a year. It's a free transfer. And if he doesn't perform or if he doesn't play much, then he can move on. But he is only 33. So he is probably in what you would imagine is roughly the peak of a Premier League's uh, of, a, of a goalkeeper's time, maybe slightly on the downward, but he hasn't played a lot. So it won't have taken too much of a toll on his body. And if he impresses, we may have the opportunity to keep him in longer. But, you know, we'll wait and see. Fingers crossed Travers has a brilliant season, but now he really needs to perform, otherwise he will lose his spot. So it's an interesting one. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Like I said, please do like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to stay in, uh, notified of our future videos. But please let us know what you think in the comments. And, uh, you know, if rumours are to be believed, we might have quite the nice little South American contingent on the South Coast here. But uh, that'll be for another video. Anyway, up the cherries.